Hey everybody, Ann here, sitting on my porch, having my coffee. It is a beautiful sunny morning, and it was cool. I've had to put my little sweater on to go out and do the chores and whatnot this morning. So, um, I think today's going to be a beautiful day. I really do. It is going to heat up, but um, I think most of it is going to be pretty nice. So, uh, last night, uh, well, yesterday I had a situation where I noticed the incubator had, the temperature had risen to 101.5. It probably had something to do with the temperature inside the tiny house at the time. Um, so I was able to get things cooled down very quickly. I mean, I just put a wet rag in there and brought the humidity back up. But I was afraid, since 101.5, um, and it was when I was out cutting the wood, that's too high and I don't know how long it was like that for. So I uh, decided to go ahead and candle the eggs one more time and this is what I found. Let's take a look at this egg right here. I did candle it from the bottom but uh, you really can't see much. So when I'm moving it around there's just that big dark blob which would be fine uh, if it was moving and if there were veins. There's just that one vein there Otherwise, there's nothing. It's just basically all liquidy. So this baby chick has not developed fully, and it is, I guess they call it a quitter. On the other hand, here is another leghorn egg. This is what a healthy egg looks like at uh, 15 days, 16 days, I can't remember. Look at, look at it's moving. Here, let's do this in slow motion. See all those veins? And the baby chick is moving. In a minute, yep, that's a foot. That's a little, uh, a little foot. It's waving at us. That is so cool. That's okay. It happens. I don't know if it was the temperature spike that caused it. It actually looked like it maybe had been dead for a little while because there was basically no vein stuff going on in there. So I took it out and I still got six leghorn eggs, eight of the brown eggs. So we'll just see how many of those actually hatch out and live. So the day that you're watching this is actually going to be the day that they go on lockdown. I will take the egg turner out, put them on the, the mat in the bottom of the um, incubator, and I won't open it. I won't do anything. All I will do is add moisture to the little hole at the bottom if need be. And then it's got like three more days, <laughs> three more days left. So I, I'm, I'm very excited about this. Anyhow, yesterday um, wore me out, yep. So today's going to be kind of an easier day. I'm going to work on the gardens, going to go have a look around at things. I may pull some squash plants out depending on if they're giving me anything um, because the squash bugs have come. <laughs> they have. And the chickens love to eat them though. So I may plant something else, you know, part of my fall winter garden. I'm not really sure. I do know one thing. I need to get those mushrooms out in the incubator and in the sun so that they can finish dehydrating. First thing I wanted to get done is laundry. I got to get it hanging up in the sun. This is the rinse cycle. Uh, this has taken me about an hour to get to this point because I scrub things with that. Got to haul water. But after I get this all hung up, it's garden time. I got this garden bed all cleaned out. I cleaned out the bunny hutch and I put some of their manure in here. So I am going to plant a border of green onions all the way around and then I'm going to plant some lettuce in the middle. Go me. I wish I could film it but my phone is crapping out and the battery's dying so I'll just show you when I get done. It's done. I know it doesn't look any different than before but Believe me, there's a row of onions all around the outside and two rows of lettuce. So, oh, and before there was the uh, squash plants in, I took them out and they're going in the compost heap. So, I'm going to let these keep doing their thing. If they're going to give me some more stuff, then that's, that's good. I put some mulch or manure or whatever from the rabbit hutch down in each one of them so I think I might do carrots here and from what I've read they don't need a whole bunch of nitrogen so I don't know I'll do the rest of the bed like that um, look at 
told you it's trying to come back <laughs> I may just be growing another pepper plant and not get any peppers but that's okay yeah and these over here I put some of that rabbit hutch mulch on them as well so uh, you know what I don't think I'm gonna do the carrots today because I'm tired I got I got distracted doing an another little side project but looky over here there's peas coming up in every single place that I have planted them everywhere around each of these poles and where I planted them in between in a couple places so that's looking pretty good everything's been watered and the turnips are continuing to grow that is wonderful please please don't let me kill them I killed my ones that I planted last year so I'm really hoping that these will grow so I can have some turnips some turnip greens that would be lovely the sun's starting to go down, so I'm gonna test these and see if they're done. I'm hoping the bolets are done, at least. I started them before. Oh yeah, these are definitely done. No question about it. Let me fill these down here. Yep, crispy. That's kind of hard to see. Hang on. Let's see here. Oh yeah, they're not gonna be crispy but they're very firm they're not squishy anymore so these are all going in my mushroom jar Woohoo! it's been a pretty good day yeah I mean I got laundry done I got something planted I got started on another little project I uh, got some dishes done all I've got left to do is bring the laundry in take Papa for his second walk do my chicken chores for the evening and that's it. Then I can relax. <laughs> anyway, you know what? That's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.